Hey, it's Dan Morales, and this is Home Buyer Radio, episode number 19. And this week, I want to talk uh, a little bit further about PMI insurance or uh, what's known as private mortgage insurance in the industry. Now, private mortgage insurance is insurance that protects a lender in the case of a default on a mortgage. Now, PMI or private mortgage insurance is really uh, only applicable for loans where there's a down payment of less than 20%. Okay, so if you have a 20% down payment and you're looking at a conventional type of mortgage, you're not going to have to deal with any form of PMI insurance as part of that loan. Now, private mortgage insurance is insurance that you, as a buyer, pay for that protects a lender against the default on a mortgage if you were to default. What that mortgage insurance does is it covers part of a lender's potential loss if they were to foreclose against you, take the property back, and sell it. So that insurance protects the lender. Now, a lot of times clients hear the term insurance and they think that there's some benefit to them. You know, especially when you hear like private mortgage insurance, they think that, oh, great, you know, if I were to die and pass away, my mortgage is going to be paid off. Or if for some reason I'm disabled and I can't make it to work, the PMI company is going to make my mortgage payment for me and so on. The reality of life is uh, PMI insurance is insurance you as a homeowner pay for that benefits the lender in the case of a default. It doesn't do really a whole lot for you other than it allows you to buy a house with having a down payment that's less than 20% down. So that is a quick uh, kind of summary of what PMI insurance is. Now, PMI insurance, you know, being a private mortgage insurance, uh, means that you can, and it can actually be issued, if you will, from multiple companies. So there there are a number of different companies that can issue private mortgage insurance, and all of those companies can have different rates in terms that can apply to you as a would-be home buyer. So, you know, how do you shop for PMI insurance? Well, the truth is, you as a home buyer don't shop for PMI insurance as much as your lender does. Now, some lenders uh, have limited resources when it comes to PMI insurance because they only do business with a handful of companies, or maybe they only do business with one or two companies. Where in our case. Uh, we pretty much have a relationship with really, for the most part, pretty much every mortgage insurer that's out there. Uh, we typically have some form of a relationship with them. Now, what that means for you as a home buyer is that we have the opportunity to place your loan with a mortgage insurer that's going to give you the most favorable rates and terms. And those rates and terms for mortgage insurance can certainly vary from one company to another. So it's really important to make sure that you know a, a would-be lender that you're going to work with has all those resources is available to you. Now, what kinds of things can impact you when it comes to private mortgage insurance? Uh, some of the things that can impact your cost for private mortgage insurance can be your credit score, right? That's usually the biggest thing that's going to impact your overall mortgage terms is your credit score and how you've paid bills and handled yourself with debt in the past. Uh, other things that, of course, will impact the cost of mortgage insurance will be your down payment. A loan with a smaller down payment is assumed to have greater risk than a loan that has a larger down payment. Uh, the loan term term can also impact your cost of mortgage insurance. So if you have, let's say, a 30-year term, that's considered to have more risk versus somebody who's maybe taking a 15 or 20-year term. Because a 15 or 20-year term is going to pay off faster, that means the risk that a PMI or private mortgage insurance company has will actually diminish or, or go down faster because you're building equity in that house faster. And then there's some companies that will go a little bit deeper in how they price a uh, the cost of mortgage insurance. Uh, some of them will look at your debt ratios. They'll look at, you know, geographically, where is a property located? As some parts of the country are more prone to default versus other parts. Uh, clients who have a higher debt ratio are more likely to default versus, uh, you know, somebody who has a lower debt ratio. So these are all different factors that can be taken into account when it comes to what your cost for mortgage insurance is. Now, a lot of times clients will look just strictly at interest rate, uh, you know, when trying to determine what lender to work with, but they don't always look at what's the cost of mortgage insurance as part of what my cost to borrow is. So it's really important to understand what your mortgage insurance cost is because mortgage insurance cost is not the same across the board. You can have some pretty big differences from one company to another. And if you're comparing lenders, you could have the same rate, let's say with two different lenders, but you could have one lender that has mortgage insurance that's significantly cheaper than another. Uh, so you want to make sure that you do look at that mortgage insurance component as part of your monthly payment because it can have an impact on you 
you as a would-be homeowner, and it can make a difference in your overall monthly payment. So make sure you take a look at that because that is something that is certainly going to be important to you when you look at your overall cost at borrowing. Now, in next week's episode, we're going to talk about different forms of private mortgage insurance, right? So we talked about what PMI or private mortgage insurance is, but we didn't talk about how you can actually structure mortgage insurance and some different ways where you can do that that can actually be beneficial to you. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. Hey, do me a favor. If you enjoy the podcast and you feel the content is something that has been of value to you, uh, do me a favor. Go on iTunes, write us a review, uh, leave some feedback and comments. And maybe you have a question or you have a topic that you'd love to have us address as part of the podcast. Uh, shoot me an email. It's just dan at danmorales.com. That's dan at danmorales.com. D-A-N M-O-R-A-L-E-Z.com. My website, of course, is just danmorales.com. And my NMLS number is 709-729. And North Point Bank is an equal housing lender.